good day on YouTube, my brothers and sisters, as I go at a brief devotional this morning. Um, went live stream on Facebook earlier this morning, and uh, I was discussing a couple of topics that I was reading and watching yesterday from a Christian perspective. I was watching a Christian radio uh, TV show last night, and they were playing a clip uh, of a comedian, I believe her name was Michelle Wolf, who was at a uh, correspondence dinner for politicians, I guess, and businessmen in Washington, D.C. And she was cracking jokes like they quite often do. But even unsafe pagan news outlets says she went over the top. She was talking about abortion, making jokes about people that have abortions. My brothers and sisters, there's nothing funny about abortion. Jeremiah 1.5 Job 31 verse 15 basically says that God formed us in our mother's wombs. I worked at a group home for 12 years and I remember there was mostly boys but there were some girls up there. Some of the girls would get an abortion and I remember one time one girl had an abortion. She came back to the facility where I worked and she tried to cut her wrists and kill herself from the guilt for what she did. There's something called PASS, P-A-S-S, Post-Abortion Stress Syndrome. My brothers and sisters, this is not a laughing matter. And when you see a politician or a comedian or so, whoever it is making a joke about abortion, we need to pray for our nation. Then I was reading um, sermonaudio.com, their news, getting a perspective of the news from a Christian perspective. And there was an article there where there was some 900 people in San Francisco, California, who had a mass to worship the singer Beyonce. In Exodus chapter 32, the Israelites made a golden calf and worshiped it because Moses was taking too long to come down from the mountain with the Ten Commandments. My brothers and sisters, whenever a people, a person, a nation, puts something or someone before God, it's an idol. We've made many idols in our nation of people places and things. This is so grieving when I hear these things going on. It is a call for us as Christians to pray for our nation, that God have mercy on America. God cannot be mocked, brothers and sisters. We reap what we sow. But let us remember that those that are truly righteous will live and walk in faith. The Bible says that four times in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4, Romans 1, verse 17, Galatians 3, verse 11, and Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. The righteous shall live by faith. Let us walk by faith, brothers and sisters, in a day in America where idolatry and murder is glorified and made a joke of. Let us pray for our nation. I am the father of two daughters, 19 and 16. I don't worry because I know God is in control, but I grieve in my heart over what has become of America and where America might be headed unless there is a genuine repentance and a turning away from the sins that have plagued this nation. Some 1,500 abortions are committed every day in America. Some 60 to 65 million babies have been butchered and murdered since 1973. Then we want to know why Toys R Us and Babies R Us are closing down because Americans are not having babies no more. The Bible says in Psalm 127, verse 5, that children are a heritage from the Lord. They're a blessing. Blessed is the man who has many of them. But we've made babies to be a drudgery, something that we don't want. We could just kill by a choice. It's not a choice, brothers and sisters. It's a life. When we make a man or a woman an idol, we make posters and put them up in schools. I've seen presidents and politicians posters put up and stay there for years. I'm like waiting for people to start bowing down to these politicians. My brothers and sisters, the only one we should bow down to is God through Jesus Christ and him alone. I will end with this. 2 Chronicles 7:14 says that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, God will hear from heaven and heal our land. It starts with us, brothers and sisters. Let us pray for our nation. This is serious times we're living in. May God bless you all this day.
And may God bless America and have mercy on us all. Take care.